guys, that's the dreaded MSF U-turn box. Guys, my name is Rick, and this is the HG Vibe channel. That box often strikes fear into riders' eyes, and that's because they generally make one or more of five mistakes that we're going to talk about in today's video. And I'm also going to give you some tips to overcome those mistakes so that you, too, can conquer the MSF U-turn box. And we'll get into it right after this. Guys, so let's go over those mistakes, and I'll kind of show you what the mistakes, the five mistakes that people make. And I'm going to try to emulate that on my bike. So guys, when I'm practicing to take away that fear of dropping the bike, I've got motorcycle drop guards on my bike. Um, go to MotorcycleDropGuards.com and use the code HDVIBE2024, which I'll pop up right here, and you can save 30% on a set of these. That code is only going to be that 30% discount up to March 31st. So you got a little bit of time to save some money on these motorcycle drop guards and get over that fear of dropping your bike. So the first one we'll talk about is speed. Going too slow. I often see this. People get up to this U-turn box, they're scared and their intuition, their mind tells them to go slow. In reality, they should be going faster. What happens is they're going two miles an hour. They're trying to balance the bike. They're pulling that clutch in. They're going slower, slower, slower because this this oh and then i go out and then oh gosh i can't make the turn and i'm going to go out of bounds and oh fail so obviously to alleviate that problem again when you're doing this msf u-turn box you want to get in that seven to eight mile an hour range that's probably the sweet spot certainly well over five miles an hour uh, but something less than 10. so seven to eight is probably the sweet spot so the next thing that people do is they don't use all of the space that they have available. You got 22 by 60 feet. And what they do is they come in off these lines and I'll show you that. So they don't have as much space to make that U-turn and come back around and do that figure eight. And it kind of goes something like this. So they're about a foot, maybe two feet off the line and they're trying to come down here and they, oh, they do everything. And then, oh, oh, oh. It, it doesn't leave them enough room. So to alleviate that problem, you want to use all that real estate. You want to put those wheels, those tires right almost on that line. You want to use all of the space going out to the cones. Use those cones on the other side and come back around so that you use all that space makes it much easier. So the third thing people don't do is they don't use the friction zone. They're pulling that clutch in not or either letting it all the way out and trying to go around these u-turn box using the clutch fully engaged which there is no way that you can do that and then you have to try to control it with your throttle and that's very difficult so again it's millimeters of movement on that clutch in that staying in that friction zone the whole time don't pull it in and don't let it all the way out so if i pull this in i get up to speed i'll show you what happens here i'm not going to let it all the way out the bike has no power. I'm coasting fast enough. I probably could do this, but if you don't get power, that bike is going to fall over. You're going to have to put your foot down and you're probably not going to make the U-turn. The opposite happens. You let that clutch all the way out. You're going to be flying down the range. You're not going to be able to make a turn. You're going to go right through the, through the U-turn box. So the next thing with the mistake people make is they're looking down at those cones in front of them. And it kind of looks something like this. And essentially, you look at those cones, and as we all know, where you look, that bike is going to go. So I'm going to be looking at these cones down here. I'm doing good. I'm going, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I got cones down here. Oh, 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 nope, can't make the turn. And I just ran over the cone that I was looking at. So I just molested that cone, which is not what we want to do. So I've got a cone down there. You can still see it. I molested it. I knocked it over because I was looking at that cone. So what you want to do is obviously not look at those cones. Keep the head and eyes up on a swivel. And the next thing people don't do is they don't turn their head fast enough when they're going through here. And what will happen is this. If you don't turn your head quick enough, I'm good. I'm using all my space. I'm not looking at the cones, but I don't turn my head till here. And oh my gosh, I can't make it. I can't make the turn because I turned my head too late. 
So again, that head turn has got to happen almost when you're maybe a half to three quarters of the way down. You're turning, you're looking over to this cone over here. You're using all that real estate. And you're staying in there. And then you're doing the same when you get down here. You're looking over there, etc. So you're always looking where you're going, not where you have been. And then the last thing sort of kind of goes with all of this is that people will get in those turns. They'll get in that U-turn and they, they'll straighten the bike up because they think they can just go straight for a little bit. And I'll show you kind of what that looks like. And essentially what that will do is just have you go outside of the boundary lines. So we do our turn ahead. We're good. We're good. We're good. And oh, let's straighten up. And oh. I just went out of bounds because I straightened the bike up and I couldn't turn it back the other way quick enough. And I probably didn't snap my head back over my right shoulder to be able to complete that. So those are really the five mistakes that people will make. And here's how you correct all of that. Again, head and eyes up. Use that friction zone. Use all of your real estate. Don't look at those cones. Turn your head as far as you can. Stay in that turn. Do not straighten up that bike. And you can master this MSF 22 by 60 U-turn box. And let me show you how to do that. So we're coming down. We're using all our real estate. Turn my head. Turn the bike. Turn the bars. Friction zone. Came through there real nice. I'm going to use all my real estate again. Turn my head nice. Looking over my right shoulder now. Get back down here, use all of my real estate, turn those bars, keep them turned, use that friction zone, and do the same down here, turn. And again, I'm going nine miles an hour. Again, using all that real estate, eight miles an hour. No rear brake. Now, if you do, need to slow yourself down obviously the clutch is first but if you get going too fast use just a little bit of rear brake a little pressure on that rear brake and look how tight i can make that i was probably i don't know certainly less than 20 feet so let me drag a little rear brake that'll be our final tip of the day and look how tight that is i'm gonna turn my head and eyes not even rear brake there, and I'm well within the boundaries. Again, this is set at 22 feet, which is not all that difficult once you use these tips and don't make those mistakes. And if that bike feels like it's going to tip over, give it a little bit more power. Don't let it tip over. And don't straighten those bars out. Look at that. Turn the head. And I'm not using hardly any throttle. This is all friction zone. The bike is basically just idling. And that's what you call total clutch and throttle control. So just like that, guys, fix those five mistakes. Some people make one. Some may, people make all five. But if you get over those, use those tips, master and get over those five mistakes, you too can conquer this. MSF U-turn box, make figure eights just like I was, nice and smooth, um, and it's no problem at all. So guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video. What works well for you? Have you made these mistakes? Have you corrected those mistakes? Do you get out and practice? So guys, if you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider sharing this with your friends so that like-minded individuals can see this video and learn how to not make those mistakes and correct them so they too can master and conquer this MSF U-turn box. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button right down here. That really helps out the channel. And when you do subscribe, leave a comment down below saying, I subscribe so I can personally reach out. Thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and select all. So you do get notified every time we do put out new content. I have over 200 videos on tips, tricks, rides, reviews, and installs on these Harley-Davidson touring motorcycles. You may learn about a product. You may learn how to install a product, save yourself some money. There may be discount codes and you might get some writing tips like this so that you too can become a more confident writer. So guys, with that, I want to leave you with this thought. Life is short. Get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you.
on the next one. Bye now.